Hey y'all, welcome back to your darling channel, The Mima. And today we are getting intentional as usual. Ready to transform your space and your life. I'm so excited to share this 10 day minimalism challenge with you. We're going to declutter, simplify, and find joy in every corner of your home. Get ready to say bye bye to the clutter and hello to a more peaceful you. Are you ready to embark on this transformative journey with me? Let's do it. All right, friends, day one is here. Let's start with the closet. This is usually where clutter hides the most. Take a deep breath and remember, we're on a mission to create a space that sparks joy. Hold each item of clothing in your hand. Does it bring you joy? Have you worn it in the last year? If not, it's time to let it go with gratitude. Imagine opening your closet every morning to a curated collection of your favorite pieces. No more shoving clothes to the back. No more I have nothing to wear dilemmas. Just pure organized joy. Remember, be honest with yourself. That dress you wore to your cousin's wedding five years ago? It's okay to let it go. Visualize the peace and clarity a clean, organized closet will bring to your life. Let go of the old and make room for the new. Fold your remaining clothes neatly, using the KonMari method if you like, and organize them in a way that makes you happy. Doesn't that feel amazing? You did it. One step closer to a more joyful you. Good morning, beautiful people. It's day two and we're tackling the heart of the home, the kitchen. Now, I know some of you have a deep and abiding love for your kitchen gadgets, but let's be real. Do you really need three vegetable peelers? Start by removing everything from your drawers and cabinets. Yes, everything. I know it seems daunting, but trust me, it's the best way to assess what you truly use and need. Hold each item in your hand and ask yourself, does this spark joy? If it doesn't, thank it for its service and let it go. Once you've decluttered, it's time to organize. Group similar items together. Use clear containers to store dry goods so you can easily see what you have and avoid unnecessary purchases. Imagine yourself cooking in a space where everything is in its place, where you can find exactly what you need when you need it. Take a moment to admire your sparkling clean kitchen and pat yourself on the back. You've earned it. Happy day three, everyone. Today, we're giving our bathrooms a much needed refresh. Let's face it. The bathroom can become a graveyard of half-used lotions, expired products, and forgotten toiletries. But fear not, we're about to transform it into a spa-worthy sanctuary. First things first, let's tackle those drawers and cabinets, empty them completely, and discard any expired products. Seriously, those three-year-old mascaras have got to go. Gather all your lotions, potions, and hair products. Do you really use all of them? Be honest with yourself and let go of anything that doesn't make you feel fabulous. How many towels do you actually need? Keep a reasonable number of sets and donate the rest. Use drawer dividers to keep things tidy and consider investing in some pretty storage containers to hold your everyday essentials. Add a touch of spa-like luxury with a scented candle or a vase of fresh flowers. You're doing amazing, my friends. Now go ahead and treat yourself to a long, luxurious bath. You deserve it. Hey there, decluttering superstars. It's day four, and we're tackling the living room. This is the space where we gather with loved ones, relax after a long day, and create lasting memories. Let's make it a haven of comfort and joy. Start by clearing out any clutter that's accumulated. Those stacks of magazines you've been meaning to read, let them go. The pile of toys threatening to take over the coffee table, time to find them a new home. Do we have too much furniture crammed into the space? Could we live without that clunky side table? Remember, less is more when it comes to creating a sense of calm and spaciousness. Choose throw pillows and blankets that evoke a sense of warmth and comfort. Display a few cherished photos or travel souvenirs that spark joy. But remember, keep it simple and avoid overdoing it. Take a moment to bask in the tranquility of your newly refreshed living room. Happy day five, my organized friends. Today, we're conquering the home office. Whether you have a dedicated room or just a small corner desk, a clutter-free workspace can do wonders for your productivity and peace of mind. Let's begin by tackling those piles of paper. Sort through everything and file away important documents. Recycle anything you no longer need. Remember, a clean desk is a clear mind. Use drawer organizers, pen holders, and file folders to keep everything in its place. 
A well-organized workspace will help you stay focused and efficient. A vision board, motivational quotes, or even just a few potted plants can brighten up your workspace and boost your mood. You're halfway through the challenge and look at you go, you're well on your way to creating a home that sparks joy from top to bottom. Welcome to day six, my friends. Today, we're taking a break from the physical clutter and focusing on our digital lives. Yes, it's time for a digital detox. Start by decluttering your inbox. Unsubscribe from newsletters you never read and delete any unnecessary emails. A clean inbox is a thing of beauty, my friends. Delete any apps you don't use regularly and organize the remaining ones into folders. Go through your photos and videos and delete any duplicates or blurry shots. Designate specific times to check your email and social media and try to resist the urge to constantly be connected. Remember, it's okay to disconnect and give yourself a break from the digital world. By decluttering our digital lives, we're creating space for more meaningful connections and experiences in the real world. Hello, my sentimental friends. It's day seven and we're tackling those items that tug at our heartstrings sentimental items. Now, I know this can be a tough one, but remember, we're not discarding memories. We're simply creating more space for the things that truly matter. Start by gathering all your sentimental items in one place. This could be anything from old love letters to childhood toys. Hold each item in your hand and ask yourself, does this spark joy? If it does, keep it. If not, thank it for its service and let it go with gratitude. For items you're keeping, find a special place to store them. This could be a memory box, a scrapbook, or even just a designated drawer. The key is to keep these items organized and contained so they don't overwhelm your space. Just because you discard something doesn't mean you're discarding the memory associated with it. The memories will always be with you, whether or not you have a physical reminder. Greetings, bookworms and magazine enthusiasts. It's day eight and we're tackling our beloved books and magazines. Now I know for some of us, parting with books can feel like saying goodbye to old friends. But remember, we're creating a space that sparks joy and sometimes that means letting go of some of our literary companions. Start by gathering all your books and magazines in one place. Hold each one in your hand and ask yourself, have I read this already? Will I ever read this again? Does this book spark joy? If the answer is no, it's time to let it go. For the books you're keeping, organize them in a way that makes you happy. You can arrange them by genre, author, color, or any other system that brings you joy. Consider donating your unwanted books and magazines to a local library, shelter, or charity. Your gently used reading material could bring joy to someone else's life. You're doing fantastic. Keep up the amazing work, my friends. Hello, my decluttering champions. It's day nine and we're tackling those often neglected areas, the garage and storage spaces. Now I know these areas can be daunting, but fear not, we're in this together. Start by taking everything out of your garage or storage unit. Yes, everything. I know it seems like a monumental task, but trust me, it's the best way to assess what you have and what you can let go of. As you go through each item, ask yourself, have I used this in the past year? Do I need this? Does this spark joy? If the answer is no, it's time to say goodbye. Once you've decluttered, it's time to organize. Invest in some sturdy shelves, storage bins, and labels. You're almost there. One more day to go. Congratulations, my minimalist masters. You've made it to day 10, the final day of our 10-day minimalism challenge. Today is all about those finishing touches that will transform your home into a haven of peace and joy. Start by taking a walk through your home. Pay attention to any areas that still feel cluttered or disorganized. Spend a few minutes tidying up, putting things away, and making sure everything is in its place. Now, let's add some finishing touches. Fresh flowers, scented candles, and cozy throw blankets can make all the difference. Remember, it's all about creating a space that feels welcoming, inviting, and a true reflection of you. Take a moment to appreciate how far you've come. Your home is now a clutter-free, organized, and joyful space. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations! You've completed the 10-Day Minimalism Challenge. Give yourself a round of applause. You absolutely deserve it. 
We tackled every nook and cranny from that overstuffed closet to the abyss of the garage. How do you feel? Lighter, happier, and more organized, right? It's amazing how decluttering our physical spaces can have such a profound impact on our mental and emotional well-being. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your journey with us. We'd love to hear about your experience. Let's keep this minimalist movement going, y'all.